Rated R. What's up, guys? Middle Age Gamer here. We're playing Transcend World CSX Heavy Hall, and we are streaming on twitch.tv slash Middle Age Gamer right now. We're going to continue on with my profile. As you can see, I'm level 7 on Sand Patch Grade. And since I'm having a problem loading Powering America Part 1, we are going to go ahead and do Ice and Snow. It's only logical. It's 180 minutes long. It's a long time. It's like three hours. I guess it's going from... Looks like the... Uh, Cumberland Yard all the way up to the mine maybe somewhere up there. I don't know. We'll find out though Let's go ahead and load this up Again, I'm not sure why my uh, YouTube Live stream is not working. So we're just gonna be streaming on twitch today Yeah, three hours long. <laughs> we'll see if I make it. I don't know Ice and snow here we go Definitely gonna be interesting, that's for sure. We're assigned to a manifest today. It's running at Q359. Head over and join me in the cab. Alright. Let's not get run over by these trains or locomotives. I ever ran in this game. Let's go and take a seat in the engineer's seat real quick. <laughs> Two hours? I think it's going to take me like the full three hours more than likely. It seems like all these scenarios take me longer than uh, the required time for whatever reason. Turn the headlights to bright. Automatic brake to release. Go ahead and drop the brake pressure with bell off. And we'll head out here in just a second. Put the reverser back first. I got a couple to that formation over there. Take a look at the uh, map real quick. So we've got a backup. Go back forward and then reverse into these wagons, whatever they are. Pretty long train, though. Oh, nice. Well, hopefully you don't mind me drinking and driving a train. Because that would be horrible in real life, right? I have to drink a little wine. I promise not to do anything illegal on this stream whatsoever. Except for drinking while I drive a train. That's the only thing I can do. What up, James? How's it going, man? And Crusher, were you speeding the whole time if you did it in two hours? I'm kind of curious about that. Definitely icy and snowy outside, that's for sure. Awesome, James. Glad to see you. Let's take a look at where we're at. Map. Getting pretty close. I may end up manually switching this because I always have a problem actually switching on the map for whatever reason. <laughs> All right, Crusher basically is what you're saying is as long as I jack it up, you'll tell me how to actually do it the real way or the quick way. Right, let's go ahead and turn the brakes on. I'm going to try it from the map just to see if it will let me or not. Oh, I think it almost let me. Alright. We should be going to the right now. Oh, I don't want to go on that track though. That would be a bad idea. How about this one? 
<clears throat> I think that's the correct one. That would bring us all the way up on that track. All right. Should be good. start moving forward and hopefully it switches on the right track we'll find out here shortly <laughs> there you go what up a la mode how's it going a little bit bummed out that i couldn't get the youtube stream working for whatever reason i think that's the right track yep definitely headed the right way Good news. But yeah, I used to get like uh, 20, 30 viewers on YouTube, so a little bummed out about that. Let's go ahead and get back in the cab real quick. It's crazy how the actual ice builds up everywhere on the edge of the windshield and all that. It's pretty neat. Yeah. I'm assuming it does not look like this. <clears throat> the question is, what does it look like? Is there actually even winter in Cumberland Yard? Alright, there's the train that we're going to couple to here in just a second before heading north, going up sand patch grade. For those of you just tuning in, we are doing a special 420 stream, <clears throat> and I think me and Brebe are going to set up on 419, so we might be streaming on the 19th as well. Oh, that's actually the train we're coupling to, not that one. See where we gotta go real fast. Gotta get on this track. So we gotta go all the way up here before reversing, which is fine. Let me get some power going. <clears throat> I guess tapping the brakes wasn't a good idea. I'm sure you have. Driving while intoxicated is a horrible, horrible idea financially and for other reasons. Of course, you can always kill people too. Definitely not a good thing. Driving a train while drunk would probably be even worse, I'm assuming. law that would be. I guess it's a DUI like a car, except you're probably stealing federal property or it's, it's got to be all sorts of felonies on top of that. Alright, I think i got to go up a little farther. Um, oh no, I don't. got to break right here. It's going to start breaking. Look at where we have to go. Let's see if I can follow these tracks back. And that should actually get us there, I think. I don't know why I'm staring at the screen sideways, but I am. Um, so I'm on that one. All right, that should be set up properly, hopefully. Let's go ahead and start reversing. Let's just 
so if I'm heading the right way. James calling out for uh, for D high voltage. I can't tell. I'm not looking at who's in the chat. I'm assuming he would say what's up if he was in here though. Make sure we're going the right way. I think we are. Uh, yep. Definitely on the right track. Can't even see the train behind us coming up. Here, a real train on the outside of my house, though. crashing into this. Down. Much better. I can actually see what I'm doing for once. Uh, yeah, I've been pulled over a lot when I was younger. I haven't been pulled over in probably, Jesus, maybe eight, nine years now. I used to speed all the time back when I was a kid, though. Running stop signs, all sorts of tickets. All right, set the auto brake to full service. There we go. Gonna empty the brake cylinders. This forward. Cumberland Tower. This is Talk to Tower so we can head out. Requesting departure from Cumberland. Over. All right. Is Tower going to get back to us? Is it just going to make us wait? There you go. Q359. Subject to signal indications. Proceed as far as Viaduct Junction. Over. All right. We're ways away from there. Cumberland Tower. Q359, proceeding to Viaduct Junction. Out. I think I'm ready to accelerate. Oh, screen tearing. Can't really tell how long the train is, but we'll look as we get going here in a little bit. A little faster, make sure we stay under a thousand amps though. sand down just in case and someone told me that uh, on the new update that they're coming out with when you're using di I guess the dynamic brakes um, you can actually see the reverse amperage while using it I don't think they had that before all right, we're starting to move. Frame rate should get a little bit better once we get out of town here in a little bit. Just keep in mind, we've got a, a ways to go, though, for that. I'm going to take the sand off. I don't think we need it anymore. Looks like we've got a ways to go before we can actually speed up about two miles through town here. So you guys know, take a look at the actual train real quick. Frame rate's pretty horrible in Cumberland Yard again. 
Nothing I can do about that until they release the new update. Kind of a mix, looks like we got some oil on board, some box cars. It's kind of a mix of everything. Awesome. Typically I'm streaming on YouTube, but not working today. It says my API has been reached and I have no clue what that means or why it's giving me the error, but I'll try to get it fixed here in the near future. Alright, quite a long train. Let's go ahead and get back on board. I'm not missing anything. Real quickly, you guys can see we're heading out of Cumberland Yard. Thank you, James, for hosting the stream. Appreciate that. And we're going to be heading all the way up here somewhere to the top of the mountain. Nice, I haven't played GTA 5 in forever. I have it on, I think, PS3? Maybe PS4? So I haven't really tried any of the mods. Kind of missed out on the whole uh, GTA 5 scene on PC, though. I know a lot of my friends play it. I'm stuck playing Train Sim and all sorts of other simulation games like American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Sim, games like that. Why, Crusher? You want me to zoom in on the map? Zoom in. There we are, heading up to right here. Assuming we're stopping there. Let's see what it says. Yeah, stop at the viaduct or uh, junction. This is Ice and Snow, I believe, is the name of the uh, of the scenario. Says so it's. Just, uh, <laughs> 180 minutes long, three hours long. I don't know if it's going to take me that long, but we'll find out. I'm not sure. I've never tested the actual max speed of the train. I think max on the line is around 45, maybe 55 for freight. Let's see, does it have it written anywhere? Usually it says like max freight speed somewhere on here. I don't see it in this locomotive offhand. I got a bit of snow coming down now, though. The wind <laughs> I have the windshield wipers on slow, like ultra slow mode. Again, frame rate's going to slowly start getting better once we get out of town here. Looks like we still got a ways to go before the uh, 25 mile per hour limit, but we're stopping in about a mile at Via Duck junction as well. It, yeah, it might be 50, 50, 55, somewhere in there, all the mode. I'm in Texas. San Antonio, Texas. Ice and snow, snow and ice is the scenario. take a look again. Nope, I'm not on the uh, the blue track, which is really strange. But I will be on the blue track coming up. Let me just double check. I'm on the leftmost track, leftmost track. I'm switching to the blue track here shortly, and I'll be stopping very soon. Hopefully that's not a problem, but we'll find out. as close to 15 miles per hour as possible. Uh-oh. Don't tell me that, Crusher. I'll hit the same weird thing you did, like I gotta pull the train forward and then reverse it back onto the blue track. Hope not. 
Huh, okay. I'm gonna miss the scenario trigger that causes the 180 minutes. Alright, I guess we'll be finishing early, guys. It's good news. Good news, especially if you're watching on YouTube, if I actually finish this. This will be a, uh, a four-part series, or five-part series, instead of an eight-part series. Take a look at the different views real quick. Should be going through the town here shortly. I guess this is part of the town, right? Nice. I know a couple of local PD. A few of the cities around here. In fact, I've ridden motorcycles with a few of the guys, too. On the Sunday fun runs at some of the bars in the area. Uh, <laughs> we've got about probably 10 more minutes for part two, Alamo, but you're more than welcome to welcome everybody if you want to. I'm assuming we're hitting the 20, 20 minute mark, 30 minute mark here in a little bit. Right, looks like we're going to be stopping up here. About 500 yards to go. they have intersection boards here. In fact, I think in Cumberland, you're not even supposed to use the whistle or the, uh, the horn. Could be wrong about that. I think it was all in mode that told me that a while back. I think. It's definitely starting to get a little frosty on the windshield, though. It's crazy. There you go. Yep. I, I believe in you, all mode. I'm trusting every word you say. I think you're probably right, though. Just supposed to use the bell on the intersections, which may be why I didn't see a, um, a whistle board or an intersection board. There you go. Thought it was you. All right, 160 yards. Frame rate's still pretty low here in town. Again, it'll definitely go up to 30 frames plus as we get out of here. we do it right there or not. I don't think it will. I think I'm rolling back. Yeah, I gotta move even more. Come on. There we go. Jesus. This is Q359 requesting a track board from Cumberland to Rockwood Junction. Over. Surprise I didn't. Jack the train up by doing that. Yeah, definitely a mix of conditions. Looks pretty bad. Thanks for that dispatch. Q359, subject to signal indications, proceeding from Cumberland to Rockwood Junction. Out. 
Ooh, what up, jellyfish? That sucks. Especially after wasting a full hour plus on it. All right, we got a full 27 miles to go. Jesus. Let's just hope I can get the train moving forward without getting any wheel slip. Amps are around 640 right now, which is pretty high. We'll leave the sand on for a minute until we get going. for the amps to go down before moving up another notch as well. There we go. Now we're rolling. Awesome. Yeah. Feel free to uh, message me on YouTube or Twitch. Send me some photos. It'd be awesome. Notch three. Definitely under a thousand amps, even at notch three, which is good. The snow is definitely coming down, looking pretty nasty outside. The speed, though. hit the new speed limit. The back of the train has to pass that 20 mile per hour zone before it'll actually release me to go any faster. Take a quick look on the outside. Probably not good for frame rate. I hate staying inside the whole time. Appreciate you coming by. Alright, it should be cleared to 20 miles per hour here shortly. And we're going to be getting close to the uh, fast section on the track, which is so you guys know is this general vicinity. Then it's going to slow down right here and go even slower in this area. Just going to get back in cap for a little bit. Can't really see anything. Jesus. There we go. Cleared up to 20 miles per hour. Just going to start speeding up. Uh -huh. 
Don't you know? Don't you know?